Here with Northwestern State baseball coach Bobby Barbier. The Demons head to Southeastern on a little different week this week, Thursday, Saturday. Coach, how does that – I mean, it doesn't change the nine innings. It doesn't change the 27 outs. Does it change preparation at all? And if so, what ways? Not a whole lot because there's no midweek game. So it's one of those deals you let it affect you if you want it to let it affect you. You know, if you're tough enough to understand that these pitchers might have to move up a day um, in the rotation, that's really not a whole lot considering – I mean, if you look at those big league guys, on, you know, every fifth day. So it's really not a lot, but it's something they're not used to. So we kind of do it with those guys on feel. Um, some guys might want to throw their normal bullpen day on a day like today and just take the day off a day shorter afterwards. Some guys might want to give themselves, you know, take this, the day shorter on the front end instead of the back end. So it's, um, it's a new opportunity. You know, it is. Um, We've gotten some starters that have, have done a good job and given us good starts. They just got to be tough enough to be able to come out on a one day shorter rest. You changed the rotation this weekend. You went with Austin Reich on Sunday. He gave you four solid innings. And I think maybe pretty much a step forward for him working around some jams of his own making. Yeah. And I, you know, Austin, whenever he doesn't do well, he's his own worst enemy, you know. But he, I thought he commanded his own pretty well. I thought with a, with a, a good strike zone, but a tighter strike zone than um, than we've we've had before, uh, which made it made it tougher on him. But I thought he kept his composure out there. Um, obviously, you don't want five walks and four innings. That's not that's not good enough. But I, it was nice to see him in control of the game and under control and got the bases loaded that one time. And and what Austin can really do is he can get some poor swings against him, you know, because his fastball so good. What is his developing, breaking stuff. He threw a nice couple of nice change ups. So I thought he did a great job, especially for his first conference start, you know. So hopefully we'll, he can build on that. SFA was a was hitting the ball very well coming in. And for the most part I thought you got your pitching staff was able to hold them down. Didn't really give them a lot of big innings, uh, one or two here or there, and that's kind of been the bugaboo for this team. But pitching maybe turning a little bit of a corner this past weekend? Yeah, I I think for the last two weeks we've we've pitched it well, you know. Um, the innings they score, we've kind of messed it up ourselves this weekend. We had the, you know, the one inning where we threw one away in the second game, and the next inning we threw one away at the end of the game. You know, so we just kind of got to get out of our own way a little bit. So, and and learn how to win. You know, and it's tough. You know, they they don't think they can lose. They won nine out of ten, and they got that belief. You know, and we we've, we've scuffled some. So we've we've uh, we've got to develop. And the only way you develop that belief is by doing it and by when it's time to make that play to win the game by making it, you know, and it takes takes some guys a little longer than others, but we'll we'll get there. The makeup of this team seems to pretend that they will get there. Is, is that a pretty safe assumption? Yeah, this this team is we got great kids. They don't there's no quit in them. Um, you know, obviously it hadn't gone like we wanted it to go, but there's there's no quit in that locker room over there, and they're going to come out tomorrow ready to practice. And they're going to practice really hard and and. Things haven't gone our way, and, and and that's not an excuse. That's because we poor play is a big part of that. Um, but just when you have a chance at the end, you know, like we did on Sunday, and even like we did on Saturday, I mean, both of those games could have gone either way. If if we make a play here, or make a play there, or and I mean, they did a great job making those plays um, at the end to win the game. So we just got to turn that corner to to learn how to win and what the plays we have to make when it's time to win the game. Reagan Kaufman's double in the eighth that, that broke the tie and put you guys ahead 2-1. It didn't end up standing up as a game-winning hit, but is that something that you mentioned it last week, looking for someone to split a gap, looking for someone to come up with a big hit. Quan Adkins started that rally with, with a double to right field. Can those things be building blocks for those two guys? Yeah, and then um, Caleb Bricka got the butt down, you know, to get him over to third. And we knew they'd bring in a left-hander, but we thought our best shot was Reagan, you know, having Reagan and David both coming up in the inning. Um, and Reagan went left on left and got the big hit, you know, and it, it set up like that was going to be the hit. And, you know, we, we, um, we just couldn't, you know, finish it out. You know, we couldn't finish it out on a day. Was, and that was a tough win day, too. I mean, we hit a couple balls early in the game that are homers on the other day. So, um, you know, it's just baseball. And we just got to gotta do more things early to extend those leads to where those little mistakes at the end of the game don't seem so um, detrimental. Are you sick of wind yet? We've had a lot of win this year, so it's. Uh, I, I told one of the umpires was complaining about the wind at Stephen F. Austin. I told him, I said, you should see our schedule. And I said, we've been to Kansas, Oklahoma, Corpus Christi. I said, wind is normal to us now.
Well, you, you head down to a place that, that wind isn't usually that much of a factor. You go to southeastern Louisiana for this Thursday through Saturday series. Mm -hmm. and that's a program that has been very good the last few years. They've kind of hit a, a little bit of a rough spot for them, as, as certainly for them. And it seems to be a home and road thing for them. Yeah, I, you know, I know they, they got beat two out of three Corpus this past week, which is a tough place to play. It's always a really long trip. and. And it's tough. They're, they're good. I mean, I know their players. You know, we recruited a bunch of their guys and playing against them the last few years. Matt and I are, are really good friends. So we, they'll be good. They'll be ready to go. They're always competing for something um, this time of year. You know, usually win a championship. And we are, too. And um, we're, we're, all, we're competing for something, too. You know, and we're trying to do our best to, to play our best game on Thursday. We don't really like talk big picture a whole lot. But Thursday, let's go out and play our best game and let the chips fall where they may. And also a good chance for you guys, you're on TV Friday night, Cox Sports, so a chance maybe to show off a little bit of the program and show what you guys are building here. Yeah, it's always good to be on TV and, and let people around the state see what the brand of baseball, our conference, we play in our conference play, because that's a really good brand of baseball. Um, our conference does a really good job of uh, bringing in good players, playing tough schedules. Um, so hopefully we get a chance to show that Friday night. All right, thanks guys. Thank you.